So I tried to make a living out of sculpture about 20 years ago and it didn't work out so I had to get a job in a factory. The manager of the factory, he knew that I made sculpture or had some involvement with sculpture and he wanted a sculpture made and I said, well I could do it, I could design it, I could make it, I could cast it, I could install it and he laughed and he thought I was just being over enthusiastic. But I, I brought him some drawings and he, and, he, and he looked at me and he said, did you do these? And I said, yeah, of course I did them. And I ended up doing that job and then uh, eventually leaving that factory. And then I went on to make a statue in Kerry. And I wouldn't have got that job if I hadn't made the first job because they wouldn't have given me a job without having some experience. So if I wasn't working in that factory and that that manager knew I was a sculptor. I wouldn't have gone on to build this foundry and, and, and make the other, other statues I've made. So it was kind of meant to be. My name is Mark Rode and I'm a sculptor and this is my studio in the west of Ireland where I've lived for the last 18 years or so. I left Australia in 1998 because there wasn't too many opportunities for a sculptor in Australia at the time and I was very curious about European art. So I travelled around Europe, I worked in studios, foundries, um, I worked as assistant to sculptors. And then in 98, I met my wife uh, while in London. She's Irish, her name's Jacinta. She's, she's an artist as well. And we settled here a few years ago and I set up this studio, which also has a foundry attached. The reason I want a foundry as well as a studio is if I get a concept for a piece of art, I want to be able to follow it from that initial concept, that idea, right through to the artwork, through to the casting process, so I can have control over the work and I can bring a piece from concept right through to, to the fruition of the final piece. One of the things that really interests me and I try and keep in my mind when I'm working is the way people react to art is different to the way that they react to other things that they're going to see in their life on a day-to-day -day basis because they're not functional, they're just made really to inspire people or to demonstrate an emotion, to make them think in a way that they, they, they won't normally think. And that's great, even if the people don't like the art, if you make them think in a way that they don't really think, you've achieved something. Even myself, when I'm watching the piece, it's, it's sometimes it's not even like I'm making it, it's like I'm just watching it evolve in front of me and I'm sort of, I'm, I'm working the piece or whatever and then an accident happens and you see, oh, I start to see something. And then you just keep building on that, you just keep going with, with, with these accidents. And if, it, if it's inspiring me, if it's exciting me, then um, I'll go with it and, and I can't predict if someone's going to be inspired by it or pleased with it or, or what it's going to do to them. I can just go with my own reaction and when people do have a reaction, a positive reaction, that's fantastic and that's what, that's what sort of keeps me going, that's what, what, uh, what I'm looking for really.